Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in this celebration of the Holy Eucharist, let us recognize that Jesus is passing through our lives today. And as we recognize Him, let us also ask Him to let us see His power in us. This Sunday, we also celebrate World Mission Sunday. Let this celebration of the Holy Mass remind us of our duty and our gift to share the good news of Jesus to others. And so, to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and to bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and Amen. on earth 
peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, Shout with joy for Jacob. Exult at the head of the nations. Proclaim your praise and say, the Lord has delivered his people, the remnant of Israel. Behold, I will bring them back from the land of the north. I will gather them from the ends of the world, with the blind and the lame in their midst, the mothers and those with child. They shall return as an immense throng. They departed in tears, but I will console them and guide them. I will lead them to brooks of water, on a level road, so that none shall stumble. For I am a father to Israel. Ephraim is my firstborn. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. When the Lord brought back the captives of Zion, we were like men dreaming. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with rejoicing. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad indeed. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. Restore our fortunes, O Lord. Like the torrents in the southern desert, those that sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. Although they go forth weeping, carrying the seed to be sown, they shall come back rejoicing, carrying their sheaves. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, every high priest is taken from among men and made the representative before God to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins. 
He is able to deal patiently with the ignorant and the erring, for he himself is beset by weakness. And so, for this reason, must make sin offerings for himself as well as for the people. No one takes this honor upon himself, but only when called by God, just as Aaron was. In the same way, it was not Christ who glorified himself in becoming high priest, but rather the one who said to him, You are my son, this day I have begotten you. Just as he says in another place, You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was leaving Jericho with his disciples and a sizable crowd, Bartimaeus, a blind man, the son of Timaeus, sat by the roadside begging. On hearing that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. And many rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more, Son of David, have pity on me. Jesus stopped and said, Call him. So they called the blind man, saying to him, Take courage, get up. Jesus is calling you. He threw aside his cloak, sprang up, and came to Jesus. Jesus said to him in reply, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man replied to him, Master, I want to see. Jesus told him, Go your way. Your faith has saved you. Immediately, he received his sight and followed him on the way. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. And uh, I thank you for deciding to pass by the Manila Cathedral this morning amidst the rains outside. Thank you for passing by and celebrating the Sunday Eucharist with us, with the community here. And as we are passing by churches on this Sunday, we also recognize that it is not only us passing by the church, we recognize also that as we celebrate the Eucharist, it is God passing through us. 
sana po ngayong linggo na ito, ngayong umaga na ito, kayo po ng mga naglaan ng oras para dumaan sa Manila Cathedral at yung iba pa po na nanonood sa atin online na mas marami sa atin, sana po ay makita natin ngayong umaga na ito na hindi lamang tayo ang dumaan para sa Diyos, kundi ang Diyos mismo ang dumadaan sa buhay natin ngayong linggo na ito. This is what happened in the gospel story today. The story of Bartimaeus. We see that in the story, at the beginning of the story, it was just an ordinary event. Jesus was passing by the roadside as he was leaving Jericho. But we will see in the story also that it was not just Jesus passing by, but Jesus was passing through the life of the many people whom he encountered. And in this story, he was passing by the roadside, but he was passing through the life of Bartimaeus. And so, the ordinary event of passing by became a life-changing event for Bartimaeus. Pinakikita sa atin ng Ebanghelyo ngayong umaga na ito na nagsimula ang kwento na dumadaan lamang si Jesus sa isang kalye, sa isang daanan. Pero si Jesus ay hindi lamang dumadaan sa kalye, si Jesus ay dumadaan sa buhay ng mga taong kanyang nakakasalamuha. At isa rito ang kwento ni Bartimeo. How many of us recognize that God is passing through your life? When was the last time that you were able to recognize and say, Ah, God is passing through me at this time. Kailan kaya yung huling pagkakataon na nasabi natin sa sarili natin, parang dumaan yata ang Diyos sa buhay ko. Siguro po, meron sa inyo dito na hindi naman talaga planong magsimba. Baka yung iba ko sa inyo ay dadaan lang dapat sa Manila Cathedral. Many some of you are uh, riding their bicycles, coming from other places, and you decided to pass through the Manila Cathedral. And then you see there is a mass. And then suddenly, you felt to pray. Dumadaan ka lang sa Manila Cathedral, nagbibisikleta lamang kayo, pero nakita mong may misa. Tumahimik ka sandali at nagdasal. At nakaramdam ka na parang nagpasalamat ka sa Diyos. Naramdaman mo ang presensya ng Diyos. Tandaan mo, hindi lang ikaw ang dumadaan sa simbahan. Baka ang Diyos ay nais dumaan sa buhay mo ngayong umaga na ito. Recognize that God is passing through your life. Baka po yung ibang mga nanonood sa atin online ay nagsasearch lang kayo sa inyong Facebook, sa inyong YouTube timeline, at nakita nyo lang na may nisa. Napadaan lang kayo at binuksan nyo lang ang online mass. At sasabihin natin minsan, ah, napadaan lang ako sa aking online mass. Pero tandaan natin, kagaya ng kwento ni Bartimeo, hindi lamang dumadaan tayo 
kundi ang Diyos na is dumaan sa buhay natin. Jesus is not just passing by. Jesus wants to pass through your life. My dear brothers and sisters, when was the last time that we were able to recognize that God is passing through our life? In our first reading today, from the book of the prophet Jeremiah, we see that even in the experience of Israel of exile, they were exiled to another country. They were taken captive by an enemy power. God passed through their lives, rescued them from slavery, rescued them from another country, and brought them home back to their homeland. Kahit ang isang karanasan ng hindi maganda, isang karanasan ng pagkatalo, diyan dumaraan ng Diyos, dumadaan ng Diyos sa ating buhay. Even in the experience of exile, God wants to pass through us, rescue us from exile, rescue us from any of these experiences. Nais ng Diyos dumaan sa ating buhay at iligtas tayo sa ating mga karanasan. Maybe some of you who are listening or watching this online Mass this morning, maybe some of you are experiencing sickness. Maybe some of you are recovering from COVID-19. And the experience of having COVID-19 is really a terrible experience of being alone, of being sick, of being afraid. But even in that experience of COVID-19, God is passing through your life as you experience that sickness and lets you experience that you are not alone. God is passing through COVID-19 with you. This is what is explained in our second reading today, that Jesus is the high priest, but He is not a high priest that is different from us. He is not a high priest who is far from us. In fact, He is the high priest who is one with us. Ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo ay ang pari na hindi malayo sa atin. Hindi malayo ang kanyang loob sa atin, kundi si Jesus ay kasama at kaisa natin sa anumang pinagdaraanan natin. Jesus is the High Priest and He passed through our world so that He could be with us he can be one with us. He can join us in everything that we experience. My dear brothers and sisters, today is World Mission Sunday. As we commemorate the many missionaries who are working very hard to share the good news to others, let us also be reminded that we are God's mission. Tayo ang misyon ng Panginoon. Dumating siya sa mundong ito, hindi lamang para dumaan saglit. Dumating si Jesus sa mundong ito para dumaan sa ating buhay. Pasukin ang ating buhay. Baguhin ang ating buhay. We are God's mission. He is passing by. He is passing through our lives. Do we let Jesus pass through our lives? Do we recognize Jesus 
passing through our lives. My dear brothers and sisters, today, as we celebrate this Mass, it is not only us who is passing by this church. It is not only us who is passing by and watching this online Mass. Remember, God is passing through us. Nais ng Diyos, nais ni Jesus na dumaan sa ating buhay. Nawa, kilalanin natin siya sa kanyang pagdaan. Papasukin sana natin siya kung siya ay daraan nang sa gayon ay baguhin niya ang ating buhay. We are God's mission. Do we let Him pass through us? Amen. Please stand. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We are the people the Lord has saved. As we follow Him along His way of faith, let us lift our hearts to our Father in prayer. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the bishops and priests who teach and lead God's people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For wise and responsible judge who administer the laws of our nation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For people suffering from failing eyesight or blindness, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For joyous faith in the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. For all who sleep in Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions and for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Father, as we lift our hearts to you in humble supplication, so we prepare to return to you our love and gratitude in this Eucharist of your Son, our eternal priest, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, 
he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I'm not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs, we may one day possess in truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for a few announcements. First, we encourage everyone to pray as uh, the whole church worldwide is uh, beginning the synod, uh, the pre-synodal consultation. Uh, regular po na ang ating Santo Papa, ngayon ay si Pope Francis, ay nagkakaroon ng konsultasyon, no? pakikinig. sa iba't ibang dako ng simbahan sa buong mundo. At sinimulan na po yan sa buong mundo at dito rin sa ating bansa na nagkakaroon ng consultation, ng pakikinig sa bawat sektor ng simbahan. And uh, Pope Francis is asking for our prayers for the success of this synod, of this consultation. He wants to listen to all of us lalo na yaong mga mahihirap, mga hindi naririnig sa lipunan, yan ang gustong marinig ni Pope Francis. Ipanalangin po sana natin na nawa dito sa ating bayan ay maging matagumpay itong gagawing pakikinig ni Pope Francis sa ating lahat. Ano man ang nais nating iparating sa simbahan, iparating sa Kanya, nawa ay maging matagumpay ang pakikinig ng simbahan sa ginagawa nating synod, synod on synodality. Secondly, we would like to thank all of you who have joined in this celebration, lalo na po kayong mga nakatayo diyan sa labas. Kahit na umuulan ay nagtsatsaga kayo. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdaan sa simbahan At tandaan po natin sana na ang Diyos din ay dumadaan sa ating buhay ngayong linggo na ito. And we would like also to thank the thousands who are joining us through the online celebration of this Mass. Those who have sent their donations, their support, and their help for the Manila Cathedral. Maraming salamat po dahil, dahil sa inyo ay uh, nagpapatuloy ang misyon ng Manila Cathedral, lalo na sa pag-broadcast ng ating mga misa. And lastly, um, we are continuing already our prayers for the faithful departed. After this Mass, maybe some of you would like to offer prayers, to offer Masses, and to light candles for the souls of the faithful departed. You may do it at the Blessed Souls Chapel, To your right, the second chapel, maari po kayong magtungo riyan pagkatapos ng misa upang mag-alay ng mga panalangin, magsindi ng kandila at maari din po kayong mag-alay para sa mga banal na misa para sa kaluluwa ng ating mga mahal sa buhay na pumanaw. And also, after this Mass, we will be having the rite of blessing of the cremated remains of our beloved dead. Para po sa inyo na mga uh, dala po ngayon ang mga urn kung saan naroon ang cremated remains ng ating mga makal sa buhay na pumanaw. Pagkatapos po ng misa ay babasbasan po ang mga ito. Sumunod lamang po tayo sa mga ushers para po maging maayos ang ating pagtungo sa harapan at ang ating pagpila. Paalala lamang po sa mga mayroong dala na mga urn. Ito pong mga urn na ito sa tamang panahon ay dapat ilalagak sa kanilang final resting place. No? These urns are not supposed to be in our homes, but when it is already possible for us, they should be placed in the final, in their final resting place. So we are blessing them today, but In God's time, if it is possible already, 
we can gather and uh, turn them and uh, put them into their final resting place. Let us now all stand and receive the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with you. Spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you in His kindness and pour out saving wisdom upon you now and forever. Amen. May He nourish you always with the teachings of the faith and make you persevere in holy deeds now and forever. Amen. May He turn your steps towards Himself and show you the path of charity and peace now and forever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank mm -hmm. you.